Hello, so today I'm going to do another Jeffrey Campbell shoe unboxing. This is now my sixth pair of Jeffrey Campbells. I think it's six. And um, all of them, apart from my cat tapestries, are this exact box. So inside they come very well wrapped. I have only tried one shoe on. I've tried to keep them as box fresh and nice looking as I can. So as usual they come in these kind of like dust bags. And inside it has tissue wrapped around the hardware so it doesn't get scuffed and the shoes are well kind of stuffed inside to keep the shape of the shoe. As I tried on the other shoe, so this one has all the packaging removed. So these pair are gold, usual ones I've seen other people wearing are the silver kind of buckles. But yeah, these ones are gold, so gold around here and around the holes. The uppers are genuine leather. I really like the effect of them, they're kind of a worn effect. So I really, really like that. For sizing, I got these in a size 4, a UK size 4. That is my usual size in flats. And I found the fit of these really, really good. I'm going to compare them against my new look cutout boots. These do feel really comfy as I've only just tried them on. I haven't worn them. I've heard that these are killer for breaking in. But, you know, kind of boots usually are a bit like that. I hate breaking in shoes. I'm at the moment still breaking in my new look shoes. And my feet are currently healing. I've completely ruined the back of my ankles with those so I guess though in this kind of weather as it's getting colder I will be wearing socks so that will kind of help a bit I might try kind of massaging the leather that sounds weird and um, to kind of maybe break them in or put plasters kind of try and reduce the amount of pain that I probably get from having to break in these shoes so I thought I'd compare my Jeffrey Campbell ones against my new look ones Straight away the difference is these are a lot heavier, um, these were £29.99 and these were £150, these are from New Look as I said, and these are from Love Clothing, I'll put links to these down below, I can't link to these unfortunately as these are no longer available online, but they are so similar, like the height in them, kind of where there's panels on these, there's panels on these, where there's stitching around the top of the sole. On this pair, it's kind of molded into the style of the heel. It's not actual stitching, it just kind of looks like there is. The only kind of difference really is these buckles are kind of longer or thinner and these are a slightly different shape. Also, obviously these don't have the hardware around the holes on the straps, but I'm seriously surprised at how closely that they have copied. So looking at them from the front, this is the Jeffrey Campbell pair and these are the new look pair. They are so similar, even like down to kind of here, how it's pointed, it is also on there. And um, the only thing really different is this is kind of more ridged and on this pair it is flat. I'll show you even on the other side where the kind of straps and panels are, they are on this side as well. It's crazy how similar they are. My feet are still recovering from wearing these. The sizing of these, these are a size 4 and I had to wear an insole because they came up really big and they have ruined my feet at the back of the ankle and around here. I have heard for the Jeffrey Campbell one they are also very hard to break in. I guess it's kind of the same for a lot of kind of boots that you have. I think a pro of these ones are that they are real leather, so hopefully they will last longer. I really like the look of them, the finish is kind of a more washed out leather look. They are obviously a lot more expensive and I've heard you've kind of got to be careful with the sole of these, they're quite like soft, but you could always get them rehealed when you know they start wearing down and you can get them rehealed possibly with like a better kind of sole. These bits at the ends do look like they are on better. They fell off on the my new look ones. A good thing of them is that they will be lighter. I do find that the new look ones are quite heavy and I do feel quite aware of them when I'm walking. Um, it takes like a bit of getting used to as they are quite heavy. But the dupes that are available these days are really good. So that will be a cheaper alternative if you don't want to splash out on the Jeffrey Campbell pair. But it is nice having a pair of Jeffrey Campbells if you can afford it. But as I said, dupes really look the kind of real deal these days anyway. But I do like, as I said, how they are lighter. I do like the look of them. The leather does look really nice. Um, they're not like really shiny, they don't look too 
kind of new. I like the fact that they look a bit kind of worn and faded. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it was informative. If you have any more questions about the coal trains then please feel free to leave comments down below. Let me know what other videos you'd like to see. I have actually recently done a video on how I do my eyebrows as it was requested in a last video so I really do like doing videos that you request because I want to make videos that you guys would like to see. Please comment, like and subscribe and thank you for watching. Oh my gosh! Look how much she's walked into her hand!